Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you a complete walkthrough of the fleet of trucks that we have at Rory Lynch Transport. So yeah, we're gonna get straight to it and start off with the oldest truck, the Scania 164 V8 480. Now in its 19th year on the fleet, the Scania 164 L V8 480, 4x2, let's hop inside and remind ourselves how it looked. Okay, so we have the not original <laughs> driver's seat, as you can imagine. The original one was worn to death, but that is how it looked back when it was new with the fabric finish. And we have the storage in between the seats and the bottom bunk is folded up against the back wall and the top bunk there above the windscreen with the ladder that you used to be able to climb up into that bunk with. And we have the uh, storage lockers that weren't great for space. Not really a good design on the old storage lockers. And the wood look on the dashboard as well with the retarder. Okay, let's start it up, give you a quick sound of the engine. Yeah, that really annoying buzzing noise when the air is low. Okay, let's knock it off. And you have the manual gearbox, your range changer there, and your splitter switch. Three over three. Okay, moving on from the oldest truck on the fleet. If I swing over here, that is the Scania S580 that I drive with its V8 engine. So there's 169,000 kilometers on that truck at the moment. And then moving on to this used Scania Rigid, the P250 from 2013, brought in from the UK. It has not been painted in the Rory Lynch colors, probably never will be. My brother is driving this. He came out of a P280, also from 2013. And the reason why he switched to this truck is because this one has air conditioning. So I would have switched for the same reason even though his previous truck is longer and also higher, which he misses, but he does love the air conditioning. That's why he took that truck. Anyway, we move on to the Mercedes Actros from 2016, the 1845 with its flat floor. We also have two other Mercedes Actros trucks, Blue Tech 6. This one has the four steps leading us up into the cab and the height of the floor. So when you're standing on the ground next to the floor, on the truck. There's about that much of a difference between the Scania S580 that I drive and this Mercedes Actros. So the S580 would be up to about here. So that means that this Actros has a higher driving position than the Scania S580s, which also have the flat floor. And they're both on 65 profile tires. So yeah, a higher driving position on these Actros trucks. And we have the flat floor as well, which is great for maneuverability around the cab. Um, even better when this is folded up like that as well. So I wish the S580 had a fold up passenger seat like that. It'd be even better for maneuvering around the cab. And we have the fridge and the storage underneath the bottom bunk as well, which is folded against the back wall. You can see it there. And the top bunk is just tilted up a bit for extra maneuverability around the cab. Yeah, I'm gonna start off this one as well, just to give you a quick sound of the engine. Push in the key. Press the starter switch. Okay, this one has 521,000 kilometers. Yeah, it's a lot quieter than the 164L V8. And yeah, let's just hop out of the 1845 and move on to another used rigid that we had painted up in the Rory Lynch colors. Uh, this is from 2012, brought in from the UK last year in 2021. And that's going okay, P230. And we also have another P230 beside it there as well. So let's just hop inside, give you a quick look at this truck. Uh, this one also has the manual gearbox. It's a four over four with the range changer. So no splitter switch on this. What sort of mileage is on this one now? There is 478,000 kilometers and just one bunk. And it has the roof hatch there and storage above the windscreen as well. 
So yeah, let's just move on from that. As I said already, we have another P230 beside it from 2006. This is on the fleet from new. So all of the rigids that we have on the fleet all have tail lifts at the back, which is definitely needed given the deliveries that the rigid drivers do. Anyway, moving on to our 2010 MAN TGL 10 180. So a very handy small little truck for all of those awkward deliveries. This one doesn't have a lot of mileage on it, 344,000 kilometers. That's not much given it's from 2010. And this joined the fleet used a few years back and it's going quite good. Nice handy little truck for all of those awkward deliveries around town. And move on to our Denison trailer. So four of these joined the fleet last year in 2021. The other three are parked over here. And yeah, I've got some more trucks to show you. We're going to walk over now to our newest truck on the fleet. This is the Renault T460, the DTI 11. Curb weight of 8045 kilos. Would you believe that the 2018 Renault T is 61 kilos lighter than this truck? So it must be just the way that they were configured. So this one hit the road back in September of 2021. Uh, I've not shown you the inside of this truck yet and it's got, has the red seat belts just like the 2018 one. This one just has one bunk on it and yeah you've got your storage up here above the windscreen and this is the TomTom Tom satellite navigation system that the older truck does not have and yeah it's not the Evo model of course. Uh, the Evo models have the, uh, the newer front on the trucks. Uh, just a revision on those ones, but yeah, so that one's going pretty okay Now let's just uh, move on from the T460 DTI 11 and Beside it there we have the previous truck that I used to drive So yeah, um, I started driving this back in 2014 when it was new. I clocked up 622,000 kilometers on this and some of you were asking about the VTC plug-in power unit that we had fitted to this truck. So there is an improvement of up to one mile per gallon with that unit fitted to the R560. Now we didn't so much have it fitted for power, we wanted it fitted for better um, economy. So yeah, one mile per gallon improvement, that's pretty good with the VTC plug-in power unit. And then we have the older Renault T, the T460 Comfort from 2018. So as I said already, this truck is 61 kilo lighter than this one. The difference in the two curb weights, yeah. And another T460 Comfort beside it, that is an X Asda truck, joined the fleet last year. And yeah, it's going okay. Um, 460 horses as well as that one, very same. Okay, as I said already, um, my brother used to drive this one, the P280 from 2013, but he moved on to the other one because it has air conditioning. And then we have this, um, one of two Mercedes actresses with the narrow cab. So this is the 1845 and the other actress is in the garage at the moment getting repair work done. And moving on from that, we have the Scania R480. I also used to drive this, uh, new, back in 2008. I clocked up 613,000 kilometers in this. It has the manual gearbox, 480 horsepower. I never really did find it very powerful, this truck. Uh, it wasn't really a good puller at all. I came out of a DAF XF 480 when I hopped in driving this one. I was expecting this one to be um, a good bit more powerful, which it wasn't. I never really found it uh, a great puller on the road. Anyway, let's move on to the manual gearbox. Uh, same range changer, 3 over 3, splitter switch up on top, has a crawler gear as well. And so first gear, second gear, third gear. Yeah, it's a bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah, over the age. I think this one has 1.36 million kilometers on it now. Uh, yeah, the old R480 from 2008. Then of course we have the DAF XF 460. From 2018 going quite good as well so yeah that is how the fleet looks at the moment there's just one thing I have to show you 
Okay, I got something in the post. Yes, would you believe what I got? I got the Scania Tang Starter Pack. So of course, as you all know, if you're driving a Scania, if you reach Tang status, which somebody felt that I have reached Tang status, and they gave me a Tang Pack. So yes, um, dear Stavros Lynch, we would like to award you with the Tang Starter Pack. We feel that you're driving a Scania for so long that you're more than able to take on Tang status. And yes, but given that this is not the gold standard Tang Pack, this is just the starter pack, um, they have downgraded it because I'm not pulling a fridge trailer. I'm only pulling a curtain cider. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for that. Anyway, um, we will go through the um, the bronze standard tank pack. So there you go, we have our man bag. Look at this, very nice. And oh yes, we also have the Scania badge. So this badge can be put on the back of your trailer to let everyone know you're driving a Scania. Put that there, okay? And then, ah yes, we have the cowboy hat. Now what you do with this is you put it on your dashboard. You just sit it on the dashboard. Most of the time you, you don't even wear it. You just stick it on the dashboard. And oh yes, we have the, oh what's this? We have a little, um, I think it's a notepad or something. Yeah, it's got Scania badge in it anyway. And then we, oh, a Scania check shirt. Now, yes, you have to wear this of course. And along with a Scania jacket. Um, oh yeah, the, these shoes. I think you all know these shoes. Are these the Super Hamptons? Look at this. Oh, hang on a minute. These are black. They should be brown to match the hat. But yeah, like it's not full tang status. I have been awarded. So obviously I'm not getting the brown shoes until I reach the gold status of tang. Okay, so, oh yeah, and then of course we have the jeans, the blue jeans, <laughs> I mean, you have to wear them. So, yeah, I'm very happy with my Tang status, I shall wear it proudly. Um, there is no chain or anything, unfortunately, because I would wear it permanently um, as a sort of a necklace, just to let everyone know I've reached Tang status. Are you, is this guy taking the p So, that's it. I do hope you are happy for me, as I am so happy for myself. And that takes us away, guys. All that's left to say is, Rory, take it all back. I can't wear that The only tang I know is in County Westmeath. Don't you forget it. Take care. Cheers!